What's up guys? So today was a pretty good day. All of the trades that we got into worked really, really well. Um, spy calls went up for about 20%. Then we got into puts. One of the put plays we got into were up 30%, I think. And then the other one was up about 40 or 50%. And then after the stream, um, <laughs> we alerted uh, QQQ calls here at the bottom. And they ended up going for almost 300%. So I... <laughs> At one point, they were up uh, 270 something percent. So we're going to talk about the next steps of what happens uh, in the market. So we're going to talk about the SPY, the NASDAQ, the IWM, and the crypto market. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So number one, this is a pretty aggressive bounce, obviously. Um, I've been talking about how the market was going to get a bounce by Thursday. And I guess, you know, we did technically bounce and this is a strong move. We did end up catching the bottoms on the NASDAQ as well as the SPY and everything for good gains. But now tomorrow is going to be very important. Are we going to continue up higher? And my intuition is saying that we should be. Uh, so essentially, my intuition is truly going to say, like, we're going to be chopping around in the first few hours. And then we'll get a, a, like a decision of which direction we're going to be in uh, towards the later half of the day. And um, the reason for that is because after a big strong move like this, it really, if we open flat, if we open flat, then I think things can be very, very choppy. If we open very, very green, then pff, we're good. <laughs> but essentially, yeah, like if we open flat, then it's going to be pretty choppy because if we start breaking down support so obviously like not just looking at the daily chart if the spy ends up breaking tomorrow below 393 it's going to be very very difficult for people to become bullish again right so people would end up buying puts essentially and then we would go and retest 390 at that point you know the upward momentum that we built from today's candle uh, there's a big chance that it doesn't hold because a double bottom after a huge downward move, creating some sort of a double bottom intraday without without the Friday's candle closing. Say, for example, we fall back down to 390 by uh, Friday afternoon. That is going to be very, very bearish and would most likely signal us uh, falling below 388. So a lot of this is really just hypothetical situations we really don't know what's going to happen essentially there's going to be important levels that the market needs to hold intraday but overall uh a lot of it has to do with futures and you know um how we open but tomorrow i'm going to be leaning bullish if we open flat that's basically uh all i can say really um <laughs> at this point for the spy so now just looking at the Nasdaq, look how far stretched out we were. We opened lower on all the indices. We opened lower. We gapped down. We fell even more intraday. And then we had a big rip upwards. So generally, when that happens on a one minute chart, that's very, very bullish. So let's see if this plays out again on a larger time frame. But so far, so good. Um, if we break above 300 tomorrow, uh, we could easily see. 304 and then our 299 call we bought down here at 292 293 on the nasdaq we ended up we got 299 calls those ended up going in the money um so we can end up seeing uh 304 tomorrow this is definitely very very bullish so we could easily uh bounce uh but yeah i mean honestly like this is just going to be a short video i feel like i'm rambling there's not really much else to talk about um if we just have to see how this plays out tomorrow but yeah i don't want to waste your guys's time uh there's really nothing else super tangible to talk about let me just look at the dollar the dollar obviously made a new high today but um and the bonds obviously made a new low so the bonds they're also showing a lot of overextension to the downside so like abnormal overextension to the downside so now it's probably a good time to see a bounce in the 30-year bonds and if we end up going green tomorrow on the bonds then it's a higher likelihood that we're going to continue green on the um, overall market and crude oil is also 
uh, very close to being overextended to the downside as well, and it's double tapping support. So it could be a very, very interesting day tomorrow. And um, yeah, that, that's really it. I hope you guys had an amazing day. Make sure to tune in to the live stream. I go live on Twitch, YouTube, uh, TikTok, every other social media at the same time. So, and I trade uh, options completely for free. So if you guys are interested, make sure to like, uh, make sure to subscribe and you'll get notified. But yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.